Well, good morning, Magandang Umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Boy, do we have a very exciting episode for you today. It has to do with the conclusion of the build, the final episode of that house in Barangay Mabini. Well, let's go ahead and get today's episode started. Now, without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Now before we actually go into the property, I just want to show you the, fa the fence right outside the gate of uh, Willie Mendoza's property here. This is his family's property. It's a big compound. It's his family and a new house that he has built on the inside, which we're going to take a look at here in just a moment. But this is a uh, huge feat, just the, just the fencing itself. And this was also included in the build by Caribbean Construction to show you the gate this is the main gate going into the house and it says tierra nina simo and that is the mother and the father of willie so anyway we're going to go up to the gate i want to show you something that's kind of unique that i've never seen before uh to get inside this is the entranceway and you just put your your, your finger inside here and it is electronic uh and did he load me up right now with my finger my fingerprint now right now it's like everybody's fingerprint can get in and then they'll set this for security later on where it'll be just the the folks here that have access let's go ahead and go up to the main house now are you ready to see the difference from the last time we came here to visit now let's go ahead and take a look there you go this is the finished project this is the completed project with just a few little minor things that they're doing mainly for landscape and a couple little minor things on the inside i want you to look at this landscaping that is done in the front yard here this is incredible uh using the same type of a grass the bluegrass that we have over at villa feliz now, let's before we even go inside and look at the beauty inside the house let's go ahead and do a quick walk around the yard area uh, i want you to see the landscaping with the wonderful water features here look at the water features and the decor decoration of the stone and the pebbles and the rock oh ness ness would be crazy because she loves zen garden type of decorating for landscaping and that's pretty much what is going on right here uh very low maintenance as long as there's no soil up underneath here let's go ahead and take a look in the yard some of the water features that that are still remaining inside the front yard now take a look at this i gotta tell you i absolutely love this water feature with the three spills lit up by the led strip lighting in the back onto the natural stone into the pond that we have out here and this isn't the only water feature there are multiple water features here uh three that i can see right now and look at this one right here with the water lilies going into a water lily kind of pond i can see some frogs are going to really enjoy this area right here and i wouldn't even doubt it if uh mr mendoza doesn't get some koi fish to go inside here beautiful job of the landscaping in the front yard we're going to take a look at the landscaping in the backyard as well in just a moment now before we go any further i want you to see this driveway when i first came up here i thought this was natural stone down here but this is not natural stone this is actually stamped cement that has a uh, like a dye sand that goes in with the mixture and then they do something like acid washing and they do a protective sealant coat on the top and what we're going to do i'm going to get with mr mendoza later on uh, and the contractor uh, romeo nocete of caribbean construction and i'm going to ask for a little bit more information on this because i am I'm really surprised at the quality of what this driveway looks like right here and it's very natural it looks like natural stone and it complements the rest or the rest of the landscaping here uh, onto the entranceway into the main house now before we look at what's going on inside the backyard i want you to remember if you can on the previous episodes 
There used to be a house here, a workshop uh, where they stored the lumber and things like that. They've cleared all this and they're going to do a leveling. The grading is going to be the same from this side over here to this. Because this, remember, this is the compound of the, uh, the family of Mr. Mendoza. And that will give an opportunity to have more living space back here. This is a huge lot. Now remember the bathroom back here. We're going to take a walk over to the bathroom in the backyard. Now, we didn't really get to see what the inside of the bathroom looked like the last time we were here because uh, it wasn't finished yet. Uh, but now we have a much better idea. You see, this is actually a bathroom that has an area for just the men's uh, business that needs to be done. Uh, and then over on the other side, it is like a unisex for the men and the women should they need to use the laboratory, the toilet over in this area right here. Very well designed, and this opens up to the back of the house. Now, as I said earlier, there are some final touches going on here at Willie's Place. And you can see they're putting together some picnic benches here. These are the seats that will go around the tabletop over there. And they will be spread out all over the backyard area so people can lounge, uh, enjoy themselves, have a meal. This, if you remember, this slab, this platform right here, was originally designated for the air conditioning units that are now kind of hidden way up on the roof up there. Much better use of space and they're going to use this for a rectangular table for dining also and I really like the way that they used the combination of wood and the natural rope on here to do the enclosure for uh, this outdoor patio. Looking on the opposite side of the house, remember that is the area where the water purification uh, housing is. Very nice reverse osmosis type of water purification with filtration. And then back here in the same area where the little patio with picnic tables are, this is the area for the storage for the, for the, the propane gas that they're gonna be using for cooking inside the house and on the grill on the back patio. Since we're out here on the outside, let's go ahead and start with the garage before we actually walk into the main entranceway and examine all the components inside the house. Now you can see this garage has plenty of room, even with a full-size van inside here, passenger van, there's still plenty of room. You could literally, uh, for this kind of vehicle, right, you could actually add two more of those inside here. There's so much room inside here. Uh, plenty of room if he wants to put up a workbench and the solar, the same solar company, Go Solar, who did ours at our house with the same Dynas 10.24 kilowatt uh, batteries, uh, 200 amp hour, 10.24 kilowatt batteries inside here for their energy needs here at their home. Uh, this is a, a inverter that's a little bit bigger than ours. Uh, it's the next step up from the inverter that we have at our house at Villa Feliz uh, because of the additional uh, capacity here at uh, the home of Willie Mendoza. All right, let's go ahead and go in the front door and let's do a walkthrough. I think you're gonna be amazed when you see uh, both the construction as well as the, uh, the furnishing that Willie chose for the inside of his new home. Okay, ding dong. <laughs> hey, good morning, Willie. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at this, this is incredible. So anyway, I have Willie here. Willie here is retired in the Seattle area. He used to be a contractor, right? He used to do like no, work with the, the Defense Department or the containers, the yeah. logistics? Or I'm with the Navy as a civilian employee. Civilian employee, yeah, okay. Uh, civil service uh, for the Navy. So uh, what do you think? What do you th uh, th did it meet your expectations, the building? Oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's not to love? Uh, so what I want to do is we're going to do a quick walkthrough. We're going to, uh, we've been here before. Uh, we've been through, I think we've done three or four episodes prior to this one right here. And this is going to be our final. And I got to tell you, I think the folks are going to be really surprised uh, with both the workmanship of the construction inside here as well as your taste in decorating inside here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. All right. Okay, we're going to walk right into the living room. Remember the last time we were here? 
uh, we were looking at some of the lighting features. They were finishing up, but uh, they didn't. There was no furniture inside here. We kind of said over here is going to be the uh, the living space, the living room, dining room, and the kitchen. So anyway, this is the entrance that we just came in right here. I see a lot of the really neat uh, security lock features that you have inside here. The thumbprint. Uh, the one that was on the front gate uh, that you'll go ahead and establish later on with your individual thumbprint So you guys are the only ones. Uh, let's talk a little bit about some of the electronics uh, as we go from room to room There's some fancy stuff you got on the wall right here now these lighting uh, fixtures uh, Talk a little bit about those. So these are smart switches It controls all the lightings uh, here inside and outside the house and I can ask Alexa which one to turn on or turn off. Okay, well, let's... let's if you have <laughs> she listens to everything, doesn't she? <laughs> so let's do, let's do something real quick. Got all the lights on here. Uh, I know, uh, since it's Alexa integrated, uh, go, ahead, go ahead and tell her to basically turn off all the lights. Alexa, I'm leaving. Okay. Oh, look at there. And then you got the nest. As a matter of fact, that light didn't turn off because that's natural sunlight right there. That's coming right from the sun. Yeah. And of course, you need to keep some lights on in the in the evening time, so uh, it looks occupied inside here. Okay, let's uh, tell her to go ahead and turn everything back on again. Alexa, I have visitors. Okay. <laughs> That's so keen. Anyway, uh, we're going to do the same thing we did last time. We're going to start with uh, your your uh, your room, uh, your office, your private space inside here. Now, this I noticed when I walked in here earlier. I got to tell you, I've already walked through some of the house, and I was amazed at the amount of ribbons that Willie has. Will, Willie is a uh, professional runner, and he runs in lots of marathons. And I was amazed when I saw these medals that he has for all the races, but it's not all the races that he's been in because when I turned over here, <laughs> I look at the look at the amount of medals that he has for these races, and uh, and he goes all over, all over the U.S. and outside the U.S., different places. Canada, Canada also, and I notice you have a special plaque up here, and this was back in 2019. So you hit your hundredth marathon back in 2019. Where are you at today? Yeah, so I have 100 full marathons and 58 half marathons oh, so that's far. That's incredible. That's incredible. Anyway, this is this is Willie's private space. This is his desk, uh, the the library cabinets and drawers and all for his uh, little things that he has for his office. His security system uh, for the many CCTV cameras that he has for his security here, both inside the house as well as around the property. Let's go ahead and go into like we did last time. We went into the front bedroom. We'll work our way from the front bedroom all the way around. Uh, to all the different places. So this is one of the bedrooms right here. Now this is like, this is the guest bedroom, like a guest bedroom or a family member bedroom. My daughter's. Oh, your daughter's bedroom right here. And with the built-in uh, wardrobe here, which is a really nice feature, by not taking up space for a wardrobe cabinet on the outside, which would take up the room space, the built-ins are very, very nice. Again, with the same zebra blinds in the background for privacy and i'm going to just do it here one more time but i'm going to talk about the the screens inside here now these are the pull down screens that go down and they connect right here and you just push a button and they pop back up again and there you go and then it, it's just as easy to get it to open or maybe even easier there you go uh, but he's got the air conditioner on here and it feels really good. So we're going to close this right now. Uh, the, the blinds for the privacy inside here. Now remember the last time we were looking at the backboard, the custom made backboard. None of this was done. I think some of the wood and some of the places was done. This is the final, the, fi the final view of the headboard, backboard, accent piece for the back wall in the bedroom. Look excellent, excellent workmanship there. Uh, and the uh, the bathroom for this one ba bedroom right here very nice material quartz countertop uh, the the rectangular under counter sinks inside here uh, the shower 
And I think you probably went through Russell for all the glass also inside here, just like we went through for yes. many of the, uh, uh, our sliding glass storage that we just did the upgrade at our house. If you ever need information on really good glass work, just get a hold of me and uh, I can give you some references. Uh, again, the rectangular uh, water drains inside here, my favorite uh, in, in all of, for all of the different type of bathroom, shower uh, ways of getting the water out of the, the basin area. So it's really, really nice, Willie. Uh, Nan, you have a comfort room here, if I remember correctly, right? This is for uh, the common area, common space inside here. And the comfort room for the people who are visiting. It's, it's just a perfect use of space inside here, nothing wasted, everything is used perfectly. Now, uh, we're gonna go in here, there's a couple more bedrooms on, we're gonna go in here last. Let's, let's get, I think you're gonna be, I haven't, I gotta tell you, I haven't been in any of these rooms. Uh, this is the first time seeing these since the last time we visited. Remember, they were still doing the finishing, but we're gonna leave the master bedroom for last because if I know Willie, uh, there's some special things inside there. You wanna go in this one next? Okay, okay. Yeah, my and right another sister's bed bedroom inside here, and it's going to be very similar to the bedroom that we visited on the other side of the house. Okay. Bathroom, very similar, almost identical, yeah. Okay, almost identical to the other side, yeah, very. Now, I remember this one. This had a little bit more space inside, right. inside this bedroom. So if the other two or four... Your sisters, who is this one for? This is my, this... my daughter. Oh, I thought you were going to say, James, this is your room. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this actually, you can feel there's a little bit more space inside here. Uh, again, everything is coordinated. Every one of the bedrooms have the same style of the roofing. They have the, uh, the same style for the headboard, uh, wall accent feature, the built-in uh, wardrobe inside. And... and, and and, and the very similar, same type of bathroom connections inside here with the vanity, uh, toilet lavatory, uh, shower area, and uh, the window with the sliding screen inside there. Now, I didn't notice, is it, was it that same light in the other rooms? Uh, uh, different. This is different. This is the one that's a yeah. little bit different. Yeah. And of course, if you came from the U.S., <laughs> we all love our, our, our Roomba type vacuum cleaner. Ness has one also. It's, it's not I, a Roomba or whatever the, uh, the, the one that's popular in the U.S. We actually got it on Lazada, but it does the same thing, works really well. Let's take a quick walk through uh, the kitchen area since we're in this space right here before we go into the other area back here. I, I want you to look at the choice of cabinetry covering that uh, Willie used here. I like this and I believe this is going to be really easy for cleaning also. Uh, it, I don't think he's going to have any problem with scuff marks. This is not like traditional kind of wood or tr traditional kind of uh, painting that you would normally have on a lot of the woodwork that you would have in kitchen cabinetry. Very nice, spacious area, way everything is set up. You, you, you won't be bumping into anybody inside this kitchen area. I really like the fact that you use gas for your, uh, for your stove top. Uh, the, it, it's, um, it will take up a lot less energy, like the electric ranges take up an extremely amount of uh, power. I noticed that when we're cooking, we, I wish we would have gone with the, uh, the gas. Also, the range top, I want you to look at this. This is so cool. And they showed me how to do this earlier. Let's see if I can get it right. Uh, for the vent, uh, if you're cooking here, uh, you open this up and it's like automatic. <laughs> Very similar to the one uh, that Romeo Nocete did on his own house uh, in our subdivision. I, the, oh, this, is, this, is, this is fantastic. I like the technology, you know, I'm, I'm really into the techie stuff. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the sink over here. And the sink is kind of cool. Uh, Willie, I believe you, you brought the faucet uh, from the U.S., is that correct? Yes. Yeah, you brought this from the U.S. I think they have these uh, similar to what you have right here in the Philippines. They're, they're pr pretty much you can get many of the things you can get in the U.S. over here now. Uh, but the f cool feature about this one, if you don't want to touch the nozzle over here, 
you just put your hand over a little sensor that's over here you put it up and it will automatically turn off by itself very nice feature uh, for those who don't want to get their fingerprints all over the uh, the plumbing fixtures inside here uh, built-in uh, refrigerator into this little cabinetry area really nice very nice and this is pantry yeah, that is it's, it's okay it's okay going here no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay and i want you to look inside the pantry inside here uh Oh, you, you, you and I would get along really well with the Jif peanut butter. Uh, Jif peanut butter, uh, Willie really likes Nutella <laughs> and Biscoff biscuits over there. I can tell what your favorite things are. So I know, I know what I don't need to bring for Christmas over here. <laughs> okay, oh, I, while we're here, I just wanna look, this is a really unusual design, a unique design for a dining room table. I want you to see this dining room table this wood is actually cut you can see like a natural cut for the shape of the wood and the glass the glass actually conforms to the cutting of the tabletop and this seats 10 people this is a huge table right here uh, back over here is if i remember correctly laundry room yes. laundry room And oh, the cabinetry, there was no cabinetry. There was no sink the last time that I was here. So you got the washer and the dryer, cabinetry, nice colors, also quartz. Uh, and this is more of like the traditional quartz, like what we have over at our house for our island. Very nice use of space inside here. And let's see. Storage. Storage, storage. Is it okay to go in there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're not storing any bodies in there, are you? <laughs> Oh, look at there, great use of uh, storage space for your day-to-day -day things that you need around your house, different type of paper products, uh, your appliance boxes. So you got, you got yes. plenty of room and that's pull the down. access, the pull down to the go ladder. up into the attic space. Sorry. The catwalk that you have up there for the, for, the, uh, for the air conditioning and everything if you need to get inside the attic. This is the and this is my room, right? Yeah, there, right? <laughs> I don't think I can afford you. <laughs> This is, the, this is the maze room. Uh, and we walked in here last time, it didn't have any furnishing. The last time we walked in here, it was just empty uh, and, and the windows were here. And uh, I don't even remember if all the, the appliances, the sink and the toilet were inside here the last time where I can't remember, uh, but there it is now. So you can see, very nice, well furnished inside here. Uh, a room that any maid anywhere in the world would be proud uh, to call home. <laughs> now, Willie and I were having a conversation a little bit earlier and it had to do with curtains. Uh, Willie and I, are neither one of us, are really big fan of curtains. And I believe you said you were almost gonna have them take these curtains down until you talk with your daughter. Right, yeah. <laughs> but uh, there, there's a time and a place for curtains uh, and home decorating. Some, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't work so well. Uh, but if you have something like Willie's Place that has a, a very big open space like this, you see, this is a huge amount of open space inside here. And you have high ceilings. Curtains really work good. And there's an elegance to curtains that you just can't achieve with uh, blinds, like the zebra blinds. So I think he did a really good job uh, with the color selection and going with the curtains in this specific area of the house. Now inside the house, we're saving the best for last. I don't know what, I don't know what's inside here. I know Willie uh, did the, uh, the decorating inside here. Remember, this is the, the master bedroom. Uh, we're gonna call it the master bedroom suite because it has multiple features, multiple rooms inside here. Uh, we're gonna, before we actually go into the bedroom, uh, we're going to do like we did last time. We're going to go directly into the, the wardrobe and then the bathroom area, and then we'll go over into the main room. Now use the barn doors. You know, we just finished the barn door project at Villa Feliz for the, the walk-in wardrobe upstairs. Yeah. And same, same hardware that you used here. Uh, and it opens up to your walk-in closet. Very spacious walk-in closet here. Uh, you choose the, the colors and uh, the type of wood that's inside yes, here? Yes, yes. Uh, 
And this is this is all the laminated uh, laminated right. marine plywood with oh, the yes. yeah very very nice, and it, uh, it's very easy to maintain, clean, uh, and the, your cabinet guy did a real good job. I like the pullout that you have uh, for the uh, for the pants, the trouser section inside here. I'm really big. We did the same thing at Villa Feliz for this type of pullout drawer where this is embedded in the back so you don't have anything sticking out. It's very clean, very clean uh, way of doing your wardrobe. Uh, again, the sliding barn door that gives you your entrance. I'm a big fan of, of sliding barn doors <laughs> too, so uh, good choice. And this is the, the bathroom. Remember the last time we're here, I don't think the glass was up. This, Certainly wasn't a bathtub inside here. Dual vanity sink, all the way to the ceiling mirror that we have. Lots of lots of space inside here. Uh, and what's kind of neat about this is it, the, being that the mirror is so big inside, it makes the room seem doubled, even though it's big to begin with. And then remember when we came here the last time we talked about the choice of selection of the wall coverings. Uh, uh, being able to make it work. And I, I, I wasn't sure you could do that before with the wood and the stone making them work together, but it works really nice inside here. And your jacuzzi bath, now, do you take a lot of jacuzzi baths? Not really. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Me either, we have a bathtub, and I think I've only been in our bathtub maybe <laughs> once or twice in six years at our house. But uh, very nice use of space for the shower. A uh, very large shower area with the same time a rectangular uh, drain inside the floor. And I like the, the, the tile, the difference between the tile color here and on the wall. Really nice job, Willie. Very, very nice. Now, let's go to the place that everybody's been waiting on. And it's, it's, your, it's your master bedroom suite area. Oh, look at this. <laughs> you finally got your bed inside here. Nice selection of the furniture. I think you're gonna be spending a lot of time right here. That's right. And this, look at this, look at this right here. You're gonna be spending here, watching your big screen TV over on the other side, or sitting here in your bed, watching the big screen TV on the other side. That's gonna be a CCTV monitor also. Oh, and it will also double as a CCTV, yeah. And you can switch between the two, I bet. Right. You'll be able to switch. Right. Oh, look at the view here, the backyard. So imagine sitting here, relaxing, watching maybe Turner Classic movies and old Humphrey Bogart, Casablanca or something like that, and just uh, relaxing and just looking out your window to the side. Uh, what a dream. Now last but not least is the, the patio lanai. Uh, remember we came here last time, there was no furniture here. Uh, the cooking area wasn't completed. Uh, it was basically like if we stood right here, it was like this all the way through. Now Willie has already included, integrated some uh, very nice furniture, outdoor patio furniture uh, on, on the area. And still, even with the full complement of the couch, two chairs and a table, plus all the cooking space inside, there is still quite amount of space inside here for entertaining. I like the propeller also, the propeller type of the uh, ceiling fan that you got here. That's really cool. <laughs> it looks, it really looks like a propeller. <laughs> and the quartz top, of course, quartz throughout the house, uh, the quartz countertop for the island here, as well as the sink. Uh, and the sink has the same on off automatic uh, non-touch uh, option here as well. Uh, both a gas regular grill here and the like the the outdoor cooking grill that you would cook uh your hamburgers and hot dogs and things like that on the side uh storage space underneath here uh, additional reserve storage space if you want to do something you could put like a microwave or a small refrigerator out here i highly recommend a refrigerator uh to keep those brews for when i come to visit you right and uh, you have some sand mig inside there right right yeah. <laughs> One other thing, I want you to look at the windows. The windows look so cool here, and you can't see anything because of this type of window space. We could see really good from the inside to the outside. And I don't know if you can catch it. Well, yeah, you can. If you look at the, the segment, one, two, three, four segments of the window out here, it gives a very nice accent to the back of the house while giving you complete privacy from the outside to the inside of the house. 
because of the dark tinting that he has. Close out today's episode here at Lipa Grill. This is one of our favorite stopovers. A lot of times, every I think every time we've gone over to Willie's place for do a video update, uh, uh, Romeo over here from Caribbean Construction, the, the contractor there who did the build and is continuing to do the build, and you've been following him on other builds. We always stop here at Lipa, uh, Lipa Grill, and uh, enjoy a little bit of feast before we all go home. So, uh, bon appetit. <laughs> Well, there you have it. It's the end of day. It's the end of day, and we're back here at Villa Feliz. You can see it's getting kind of dark. Uh, I had a great time today over at Willie's place, uh, and I had a great time covering that house build. That is a really spectacular build. A little bit unusual for some of the things that you see over here, but the, the point is that any kind of house built that you would normally see anywhere around the world can also be built right here in the Philippines. As long as you have the right contract, you have the right architect, and you have the right crew, which they definitely do with those folks over at Caribbean Construction. Some of the best builds I've seen since, uh, since I've been here for the seven years here in the Philippines. Well, we're gonna close for today. I wanna thank Willie for giving us the opportunity to walk through his house, walk around the property, and cover that over the past four or five episodes. And I want to thank Romeo Nocete, who is the contractor for Caribbean Construction, uh, for allowing us to tag along side by side, not only with that one, but also with several of the houses uh, that we've been covering in the new home build series. Now, even with this one new home build project out of the way, we're still covering three more. So please continue to follow if you like these type of videos. And the fact is, if you do like these kind of videos, please give me a thumbs up, please share, and if you haven't subscribed, click on the little My PI Dream part. And the bottom right hand side of your screen, you'll be subscribed, and if you ring that bell, you'll be notified the next time I upload a new video. So until such time from right here, in the very beautiful Philippines, you have a wonderful and blessed day.
enjoyed today's episode and you would like to see more just like these, just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects, how to, or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building, you'll find answers there as well.